Hey everybody, so um, I just wanted to go ahead and make a video to further explain the group paragraph assignments that you guys are going to be doing this semester. Um, I wanted to take a moment to go over that section of the syllabus with you and show you on the Blackboard site where that information is and how the groups work and that kind of thing. So um, please make sure you watch this video because the very first group paragraph assignment is due on uh, Friday of week 4 at 11.59 p.m. So let's take a look on the computer, on Blackboard, and on our syllabus and see exactly what that stuff means. Okay, so first thing, as a refresher, this is our Blackboard site. Just to remind you, you can find your syllabus in the Welcome tab, or you can find it in the Syllabus tab. So if I were to go over here and click on the syllabus, remember I had said that I updated the syllabus um, after I made the video. And uh, so if we take a look, this is our syllabus. If we look at the evaluation methods, it has uh, changed slightly. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong syllabus. There it is. So if we look at, that was the old syllabus. If you look at our evaluation methods on the new syllabus, um, there have been updates since I had recorded that syllabus tour video. And so if you look at the analytical papers and assignments section, there is information about the group paragraphs. So now just as a refresher from what I mentioned in that very first announcement, instead of having papers due on week four and week 14, you have one paper, and then the group paragraph assignments replace that other 20%. So just a little bit of a tweak. Um, students have enjoyed this in the past, so I'm hoping that you will also. Um, and so this information, basically the, these last four or five sentences about the paragraphs, I have copied them into Blackboard. So if we go over here on the left to the groups, submit group paragraphs here, Okay, so you will submit by that Friday night. So just like the discussion boards are due by a Friday night, once we get to the exams, that'll be due by a Friday night. Paper on week 14 will be due by a Friday night. That's the default due date for our stuff. Your group paragraph will be due um, by the Friday night at 11.59 p.m. on week 4. And this just basically tells you what is expected. It'll be between 150 and 200 words, so it's about a half a page that answers the question. And the first sentence of the paragraph should be a strong thesis statement that answers the question that your group was given. The following sentences should support that thesis. And you can include examples from readings and explain how they support your answer and cite any sources. So again, that parenthetical citation format. Um, you can do footnotes if you want, but again, that's not required but parenthetical citations are our default and you will be using core sources for this only. The question for your group will ask specifically about a source or tell you what sources to use. And then the final sentence of your paragraph should sum up the paragraph. I will not accept late, untyped, or inordinately short or long paragraphs. So I say 150 to 200 words. If you turn in three sentences, I'm not accepting that. If you turn in two pages, I'm not accepting that either. This is about editing and working together to get a concise, well-written, 150 to 200 words answering a question based on some of the things that we've done for that particular week, okay? So you were sorted into groups on the first day of class, and the groups down here, it says groups located here, that is where you can find your groups. So if we click on that, so once you go into the groups, you won't see all of these groups, you'll just see yours and you can click on your group. Now there are no grades in here, so I'm gonna click into a group. It's just gonna show names, so there's no private information um, being shown or anything like that. So if you go into the group, it has the members in the group, and these are the tools that you have available to you to use in the group. You can create a discussion board to kind of send drafts back and forth, or add sentences, or maybe offer edits to someone else's sentences. You can do a file exchange, you can send emails to one another to meet up if you want to meet up and work on it. Um, and then when you are ready to submit, so like for example, if I click into a file exchange, I would see anything that you've uploaded. So when you are ready to submit your final draft, you will want to upload a, f a file that is a dot .doc file. And you will want to specifically say in the name of that file that it is the final draft because that is the one that I will grade. So 
You'll also notice in this item that I've attached the group paragraphs. So this tells you what the assignments are and it matches up with the name of the group. So for example, I clicked into group paragraph group one. So for week four, they would have this first question here. So the number of your group matches up with the number for your question. So for example, we're gonna read um, a, an article. It's very, it's pretty short, it's like six or seven pages on infanticide in week four, because we're talking about slavery in week four, and we're going to talk about infanticide as a form of resistance to slavery. So this group paragraph, or paragraph group one assignment says, choose a major point of Allen's article, put it in your own words, in your paragraph's topic sentence. So you would say, this is, I'm literally showing you how to start it. Historian J.M. Allen argues that, and then you would just, there's your point, it goes right in there. And then you use the rest of the paragraph to explain how she supports that point. And you're going to have to cite um, any specific evidence that you're giving from the article. So let's see. The same thing, kind of thing with group paragraph, or paragraph group two. What is one important thing we learn about the process of enslavement from reading, reading a lot of Equiano, which is Voices of Freedom 21? So you would say, one important thing we learned about the process of enslavement from reading a lot of Equiano is... Da, da 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 That's your topic sentence. And then you use the rest of that sentence to expand on that and explain, you know, how how and why that is important and what that tells us about the process of enslavement. So once you turn the first one in, I will give edits and feedback and send it back to you. And that will, um, I'll re-upload it into your group. And that will show you sort of, um, again, just like the discussion boards, feedback to help you improve as you continue. Paragraph group five, what do you think this week's primary documents on Blackboard say about the relationships and domesticity of enslaved women? Because we have um, a few documents on Blackboard in addition to the article and the two Voices of Freedom documents. Defend your assertions with references to the documents. So you would say the primary documents on Blackboard tell us blank about the relationships and domesticity of enslaved women or something more general, and then break off one sentence about relationships, one sentence about dom domesticity, and then continue with information from the documents. So again, looking for a concise, straightforward, clear topic sentence that sets up your paragraph, a few sentences that then support that paragraph, with including citations, and then a conclusion that wraps up your paragraph. So it is... Um, hopefully not going to be super challenging, especially because it is a group assignment. And then that's week four. So week four is listed here. All the weeks are in here. I just did page breaks between them to make it a little bit more organized. So for week seven, you have a little bit more um, information. So what are some of the anti-federalist arguments? That should have an apostrophe. That's my bad. Against the Constitution, use Voices of Freedom 42, which is Patrick Henry, along with either give me liberty or lecture in your response. Because both of those expand a little bit on the anti-federalists, so you can use one of them. Because again, it's a paragraph. You don't have to use everything. It's not like a long discussion board. Okay. So on week four, you will have these paragraph questions instead of a discussion board. On weeks seven, so this is all about the founding of the nation, and week 11, which is all about reform movements, you will have a short half discussion board of like 250 words, and then you'll have the group paragraph as well. And then on week 16, which is all about reconstruction after the Civil War, you will have just the paragraphs. Okay, and again, these four paragraphs come together to make up 20% of your grade and fall under that assignment category. Okay, so again, that's all right here in the syllabus. And I hope that this clears things up for you a little bit. If you have any questions or concerns, you are welcome to email me or come by my office hours. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions. My women's history class did this in the summer and it worked really well. Um, so I'm hoping that this does help you guys kind of zoom in a little bit on whatever piece of that week's readings or topics that you are given in your paragraph assignment. So hopefully it's almost like you're going to become an expert in that one piece on that week. Like your group will, will learn a little bit more or do a little bit of a deeper dive on that particular subject. So I'm hoping this enhances your learning um, in some of the, our historical topics. And I hope that you find uh, some of the things that you are tasked with writing about interesting. 
And like I said, I am happy to answer any questions about any of this. So um, just make sure you go into groups and you should be able to click on um, in your into your group and you should be able to see uh, who's in there and talk to them, send an email if you want to, or start a discussion board and get that conversation going. Probably I would say next week or you know maybe toward the end of next week. And then that way you have um, all of week four to work together and get your paragraph in on time by Friday of week four at 11.59 p.m.